Aloha YouTube, this is Neo Drew here, bringing you guys another video today. And the video I'm doing today will be a top three. My, the top three for this episode will be the top three deck slash archetypes that are actually going to be really good after new challengers, but that nobody will play, or very few people will play. Number three, generic pendulums. Generic pendulums become even better after, um, after, I can't even speak. Uh, generic pendulums become really good after this next set. But most people, the only pendulum deck they're going to play is the, the Cleeforts, Clifforts, Cliffoffs, whatever it's supposed to be called. Uh, they're going to be playing that if they're going to play a pendulum deck. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but... The, the Clee Forests are boring to me. I've tried it, and it's not that it's bad. It's actually really good, but it was boring to me. Same thing, over and over and over. However, but for generic pendulums, they have more diversity now. Uh, the promo card uh, says that, norm if I remember correctly, that when it's in the pendulum zone, normal monsters gain piercing. That's really good. They have one that gives them extra attack, another that gives them extra uh that gives them piercing so a stronger attack and piercing that's pretty darn good so van vanilla slash generic pendulum decks are gonna be a lot better but almost no people are gonna play them so yeah on to number two it's kind of a tie in my opinion uh you have the performables or as i call them the purple nurples and the super heavy, super heavyweight samurais. Both of them get a lot more support in this next set, and they're going to become even better. Not quite broken so, but they're a lot better and more, a lot more playable. So there's more strategy, more options to it. But it's going to be one of those decks that almost nobody. Those are both archetypes and decks that almost nobody's going to play exclusively, which is kind of sad. Because they look like they're super fun, like they have the potential to be really fun decks, given the chance. But are people going to give them a chance? Probably not. I'm actually working on building performables, because um, it just looks too fun. Um, just to be able to build it, I need the rest of the cards to come out, and they're going to be spreading them out, I think, over the next, <laughs> who knows how many sets, two, three, four, five sets, if not more. Uh, is what they're going to start now. And the Super Samurais are getting in this set, and I believe in the next couple sets as well. So they're just going to constantly get better and better, more support, uh, more variability in their play styles. So it's going to be a lot of fun with those decks. But again, they're going to be good, pretty darn good, really good, but nobody's going to play them. Very few people will play them. Com definitely not competitively, but yeah. And last, the number one deck that nobody's going to play, that's going to be really good after New Challengers, Next Challengers, whatever the set's called. I forget if it's New Challengers or Next Challengers. But anyways, regardless, after that set, the, the number one deck, art slash archetype, that's going to be pretty darn broken, actually, but that nobody's going to play, or very few people are going to play, it's the Melodious. The Melodious are fairies they're yes if you don't know what they do they do some pretty cool things they like extra summons they got some powerful effects they just don't have much to their archetype yet after uh duelist alliance but after next challengers new challengers they're gonna have several more monsters to their lineup so and several more spells and traps that make them more playable and just add broken combos to their deck but is any and the, not, the other nice thing about that and all the other decks I mentioned, they're budget, they're budget decks, with and stuff. So they're cheap to the wallet. They're gonna be fun to build, fun to play, pretty darn good. But nobody's gonna play them because who wants to play a budget deck when I can spend five thousand dollars to build the super ultimate shit all burning abyss, Satella Knight, Dragon Ruler, Light Sworn deck that has. Draco sack and big eye and all these other super rare, super awesome cards. <laughs> yeah, I know. Anyways, um, but hey, it could be worse. At least it's not helmet, Bujins. <laughs> um, but no, the, seriously, all those decks that I mentioned, the the vanilla slash generic pendulums, the performables, and um, uh, the super heavyweight samurais. 
which are tied for two, and the Melodious, which is that comes in at number one, are all decks and art slash archetypes that are going to be really good, but nobody's going to play them, which is sad. Um, hopefully things will turn around and maybe people will decide to play them. You never know. Um, but yeah, that's my opinions. Um, in the comment section below, I would like to hear your guys' thoughts on what you think the top three decks slash archetypes out of after next challengers will be really good but not played let me know in the comment section below all right peace out youtube